everyone. Today we'll be reviewing the national flag of Libya. The review will be done using the five basic principles of flag design as outlined in the book Good Flag, Bad Flag, written by Ted Kay and published by the North American Vexillological Association. Here is a quick rundown of the five principles. We will review the flag under each principle and give a score out of 10 for each. At the end, we will calculate the average score of the five principles, which will give us the overall final score for the flag. Let's begin. The flag consists of a horizontal tricolor of red, black, and green. The black stripe is double the width of each of the other two stripes. The flag is charged with a white crescent and star. Overall, this is a pretty simple design. The position, shape, and size of the crescent and star design might be a little tricky to get exactly right, however. For this principle, the flag scores 9 out of 10. The flag was adopted in 2011 after the overthrow of the Gaddafi regime, though the flag was originally adopted in 1951 by the Kingdom of Libya. The current flag replaced this plain green colored flag which was used under Colonel Gaddafi and was without doubt the worst sovereign flag flown during its time. The flag was designed by Omar Faik Shanib, who was a Libyan politician and member of a prominent noble family. An official government document states the meaning behind the flag. The crescent symbolizes the beginning of the lunar month according to the Muslim calendar. It also serves a reminder of the migration of the Prophet Muhammad and his spreading of the religion. The star symbolizes hope, belief in God, the country, and the ending of darkness. The document explains the meaning of the colors as described by an Arab poet. White symbolizes the deeds of the people, red symbolizes the blood of enemies on swords, black symbolizes battles, and green represents meadows. The colors are known as the Pan-Arab colors, and some other countries have applied the same symbolism to their flag. According to Omar Faik Shanib, the following symbolism applies specifically to the Libyan flag. Red stands for the blood sacrificed for the country's freedom. Black recalls the dark days under Italian occupation, while green stands for agriculture and wealth. The reason the star and crescent is set on the black stripe is because it recalls the flag of Cyrenaica, which is one of the three main regions of Libya. Idris I was the emir of Cyrenaica and played a large role in the country's independence and also became the king of Libya. Some attribute the red and green as representations of the remaining two regions of Libya, red for Fezzan and green for Tripolitania. Overall, the flag has good symbolism which alludes to both Pan-Arabism and also to Libya's own heritage. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. The flag has four colors. Those are red, black, green, and white. That's one color more than the recommended maximum of three. All four colors are part of the standard set. With contrast, we have an issue with the three stripes. These are all strong colors and therefore have poor contrast. Overall for color, the flag scores 4.5 out of 10. The flag has no lettering, seals, or coat of arms. For this principle, the flag gets 10 out of 10. A number of countries use a similar crescent and star design on their flags, and of course many countries use a horizontal tricolor. The closest flag to Libya's in overall looks is that of Azerbaijan. Both flags have a white star and crescent centered on a horizontal tricolor. However, there are a number of key differences between these flags. Azerbaijan has blue instead of black. Their red stripe is in the middle and their flag has an eight pointed star. Their stripes are all of equal width. In our view, these differences are enough to make the flags easy to tell apart. For this principle, the flag scores 10 out of 10. So now we review the flag on each of the five principles. We're going to add the scores and divide by five to get the average. So for the national flag of Libya, we get a final score of 8.7 out of 10. <laughs> 